Hi Year 2! So for today, our review part of the lesson, I'd like you to have a go at naming the sound that goes with all of the pictures on the board. So up here we've got a robin, we've got a feather, cried, pie, shield, city, palace, bread and robot. So the pronunciation of some of these sounds is different to the sounds that we're used to. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about that. You can pause the video if you want to. I'm just going to give you a few seconds to have a think about it. Okay. Our first picture we're going to have a look at is Robin. R O Bin. The O the letter O in the word Robin is pronounced as oh. Okay, our next picture is a feather. F -e -e -f -e. Feather. It sounds like it should be an E, but it's spelt with an E A. Okay, our next picture is a picture of a baby crying. The word is cried. Cried. What sound do you think it is? Have a little think. It sounds like a year, but it is spelled I-E. Okay, having a look at this picture up here, it's a picture of a pie. Pie. It sounds like the I sounds. It sounds like it should be I-G-H for I. But in fact, if we have a look down here, it's spelled I-E. Okay. This picture here is a picture of a shield. Sh -ield. Shield. Have a think at what sound you think it might be. It sounds like the E E sound E. In fact, it's actually I E for shield. Okay, this is a picture of a palace. Palace. I can hear a S in the word palace, but if we look over here at the spelling of palace, in fact, it is actually a C. Have a look at this picture. If palace sounds like a S, but it's actually a C, this is a picture of a city. Again, it sounds like a S for city. But the spelling is actually a C again. Next, we've got a picture of bread. B -r -e -d. B -r -e -d. It sounds like the middle sound is just an E. But the spelling of it is E A. Okay, and finally, we've got a robot. R O B O T. Robot. So we've got the letter O two times in the word robot, but one of the letters is pronounced O, and one of the letters is pronounced as an O. So the first one is R O, and the second O in robot is pronounced as an O. Okay. Right. Having a look at the sound on the top of my screen here, it's a C H. We usually know this sound as the ch, ch, ch sound. But today it is spelt ch, but we pronounce it as sh. Okay, so I've got some words here, three words here, and on this side I've got some pictures. Okay, I want you to keep in mind that these letters ch are pronounced also as sh, and have a go at reading these words and matching them to the correct pictures. I'll give you just a second to do so. If you'd like to pause the video and have a go at reading the book words and matching them to the pictures, that is fine. Okay, I'll just give you a second. Okay, right, let's have a look at this first word. It says brochure, brochure. And we will match the word brochure with this picture here of a brochure. Okay, if we try to spell, if we try to sound that out as the chest sound, it would be brochure, 
which is not correct, okay? So we're pronouncing the CH sound today as SH. Okay, so let's have a look at this second word. Let's have a read of it all together. SH-A-LET. Chalet, chalet. Again, if we pronounce this as ch, it'd be chalet, which doesn't make sense. It's a bit of a nonsense word if we pronounce it like that. So it's pronounced as chalet. And this is the picture that goes with it. Let's move that up slightly so we can fit our pictures in. And our last word is a name. See here, we've got a capital letter. Let's have a go at reading it all together. Sh, r. Let Charlotte. Okay, and again, if we pronounce that as ch, it will be Charlotte. And that's not a name, is it? No, so it's Charlotte. Charlotte. And this is the picture that goes with the word or with the name Charlotte. Okay. Let's move let's move on. Okay. We are still pronouncing our letter C H here as sh. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute to have a read of these three words that I've got on the board and match them to the correct picture. Okay, pause the video if you need to. Okay, well done everybody. You're working very hard today. Okay, our first word, let's have a read all together. Machine. Machine. Okay, so I'm going to match it up this picture here of a machine. Okay, have a read of our second word. Remembering to pronounce the CH letters as sh. Okay, sh, e, f, sh, e, f, shif. So that goes with this picture here. And our final word, let's read it together. Parachute. Sh, Parachute. Okay, and that goes with this last picture here. I know it can be really, really quite confusing for you because I know you are all used to seeing these two letters pronounced as ch, but alternatively they can also be pronounced as sh. So it's really important that we bear that in mind when we're reading the more challenging words in particular. Okay, let's move on to our practice part of the lesson. Now we're going to play a little game of charades. Usually at home, sh with charades, you'd be acting out the word. But we can't do that because I'm on my own here at school today. So I'm going to give you some clues and you are going to try and guess the word, okay? So I'm going to give you some clues and with your piece of paper and your pencil, I want to have a go at writing the word. You can remember to pause the video at any time to give yourselves time to write down the words, okay? The first picture I am describing is somebody that cooks. This person often works in a restaurant and wears a white hat. Can anybody guess the picture, the name of the thing I am describing? That's right, it's a chef. And remember, have a go at spelling chef. Chef. Now, I know you'd want to write chef as S-H for the sh sound, but remember, we looked at the C-H spelling of the sh sound. Have a go at writing chef. I'm going to reveal it in a minute. Sh-F. Chef. High five if you spelt that correctly. Well done, everybody. Okay. My next picture that's hiding underneath this blue rectangle here is something that flies in the sky. Okay. Have a little guess. What do you think it might be? It begins with the P sound. It flies in the sky and it begins with a sound. Let's reveal it. It's a parachute. Well done, those of you that guessed that right. Fantastic. Now I wonder if you can have a go at writing the word parachute. It is quite tricky, so pause the video if you need a moment to spell it. 
Now I'm going to reveal the spelling. Parachute. Thumbs up if you spelt that correctly. Well done. Okay. The next picture hiding underneath my last blue rectangle here is something that usually men have on their faces. It is usually above their lips. It begins with a mmm sound. Can you guess what it might be? That's right, it's a moustache. Well done. Okay, give yourselves a moment to have a go at spelling the word moustache. Moustache. Remember, again, it sounds like shh, which you think should be spelled S-H. But remember, today we are looking at the spelling C-H for the shh sound. Okay, I'm going to reveal the word moustache. Well done, everybody. You're doing such a fantastic job. Okay, now I'm going to reveal some more pictures. And you can have a little go at playing this at home. Okay, so we've got crochet, brioche, and machine. You can have a go at playing that at home with an adult or a brother or sister or somebody else that lives in your house. Okay, finally, we have got some silly sentences on the board here. Okay, I'm going to give you five seconds to have a go at reading this first red sentence. Use the picture to help you. Okay, reading the red sentence first. Pause it if you need to. Okay, let's read that all together. The chef baked a tasty brioche made out of bread. Well done if you read that correctly. Fantastic. Okay. Finally, we've got our blue sentence here. I'm going to give you a minute to read that to yourselves and then we'll have a go at reading it all together. Okay. Okay. Well done, everybody. Let's have a go at reading this sentence all together. In the supermarket, I saw a brochure for a chalet with a parachute. Okay, have a look if you can spot the CH spelling with the sh pronunciation. Good job, year two. Well done for working so hard. I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.